Oh, hello. Welcome to my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and today I like to do a very interesting animal. It's called a bighorn sheep. And I'm going to show you how to do that from start to finish. What I love about this is that's the animal you see, you know, when they, they clash the horns, you know, they, the, the two males are like ramming each other with the heads and things. And, uh, but they've got these big curved horns, you know, and it's a very interesting animal. So I'll show you how to do the bighorn sheep but I'll show you the types of clay that you can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. This is the one I used to use all the time as a kid. And uh, what's great about this is you, once you get bored with whatever you make, you can just remake something else and you use the clay over again. There's also an air hardening clay, which hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight, right here. And uh, what's good about this one here is once it does harden, you can paint it uh, whatever colors you want. And then, my preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which uh, can be used in, uh, you know, it's, it, it never hardens until you actually fire it in the oven. And uh, you can make a lot of detail with this. So I'll show you how we're going to proceed with this today. What I did is I just wanted to show you, uh, you have tin foil, which you can probably buy like in the supermarket or CVS. You, you ro you're going to roll this up, and I'll show you the shape that you're going to make. You're going to make this shape right here. You want to make it look just like the head. So this will be the neck. You're going to make a little snout, and you're going to put that all together like that. Once you've done that, I'll just rotate that so you can see what it looks like, and then flatten it out on the bottom. And then the next thing what we'll do is you're going to start covering it with clay. So what I did here is I started covering this with little pieces of clay, and I didn't finish it just yet, but I want to show you how I'm doing that. Take this, and just work it in over the over the, the tin foil. This way, you don't have to use up all the clay, and then it will. Uh, you just want to basically cover the surface. So now I'm going to take and cover the tin foil like that. Just like that. And see that? I'm covering that over. And then there's a few more areas I need to cover underneath right here. So you can see the silver right there from the tin foil. We'll cover that. And then we'll do that. And then almost it's almost completely covered. You don't have to worry about covering the bottom. The uh, but I I do want to make sure that everything else is covered so we can have that nice surface texture. You got that. Okay, so I'll make sure all the clay is there like that. Okay, so now what I want to do is make sure that that's nice and flat in the bottom. So I'm going to push down on that. It's nice and flat. So now what I'm going to do is try to smooth this over a little bit more now. So I want to make sure that everything's just about ready to go for making the the horns and the nose and all that good stuff. So let me look at my, yep. So what I'm going to do, I was just trying to look at that for a reference point. I want to make sure that, see what I'm doing is, see that kind of pushing that in there. I want to make sure See that? Take my finger and let my thumb and 
Try to push that up. I'll show you in a minute. That way. I want to make sure it's all ready to go in a minute. Okay, so I'm taking, a, I'm pushing that up. See that? See how I did that? I'll rotate that around. So now it'll, it's coming along nicely. The next thing that we want to do is I want to start working on making the big round horns. So now I just need to figure out how are we going to, okay. So what I'm going to do, in order to make those horns, we're going to take some of this amateur wire, and I want to just kind of see roughly how much I need. So that, yep. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. So this is roughly the length that I'm going to use. And I, what I'm going to do to make sure that they're both the same is I'm going to use this, cut that, and we're good. So now, We'll put that over there. We don't need that right now. And so what I'm going to do is, let's see, I want to make sure that, I want to push this wire in like this on the side. See that? I'm pushing that in. We're going to cover that over in a second. But then, we're also going to do the same on the other side. So see this? I'm taking, pushing that wire in like that. And then, what I'm doing is I'm going to take and I'm going to turn that around. See that? I'm curving it. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So now, what we need to do so I'm going to cover this over now, the wire, with the clay. So I'm taking a little piece of clay and going over it. We're doing that. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. See that? Make sure you can see it that way. So I want to make sure these are both approximately in the same location. So I'm covering that over. See how we've covered that over? Now, I want to make sure we're doing that. Yep. 
Another thing that I want to do, so we don't waste the clay, we're going to get come back to our tin foil here. And what I'm going to do is tear off some pieces here. Now I'll show you what I'm thinking right here. So I'm going to take little pieces and put it around here. Around those wires. See that? So take and wrap that around there like that. See how I'm wrapping around? Just like that. See how we did that? And we're going to add a little bit more See that? So we're going to do the same to the other side. See that? So that, that way we're not going to be wasting a lot of clay when we put it on there. I'm just going to do one more little thing. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little piece of clay and we're going to cover that. Wrap around like that. So we're getting almost there, almost there. <laughs> And then Okay. trying to what I'm trying to do right now is is just smooth out some of those rough edges and things and, and um, see I'm trying to make the nice curve on the horns. 
see how that looks. I covered it with the clay and that looks like it's in pretty good shape now. I'm not going to, uh, and then you would do the same to the second horn. You'd cover that completely like I did that one. So we're going to proceed. I'm going to show you how to make all of the face and everything and, and uh, we're going to continue to move along with this. And uh, you see what, yep. Because what I want to do next is I want to make an eye, or the eyes. So I'm just working on make sure I'm doing the snout. But you know, it's funny, before we do the, the eyes, I might just make the, the, the snout it's, or the nose. Okay. So I'm going to take this instrument right here and make it like a little indentation for the nose. See that? And we'll do the same for the other side. See that? And then we'll take, let me see, I want to get this one of my other tools. And we're going to kind of make like a little indentation there. And then we'll make another indentation here for the mouth. See what I'm doing here? See that? I'll hold that right there. So we made a nice little indentation for the mouth. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the eye next. Um, what I want to do is build up that area a little bit. Show what I'm doing. Putting a little piece of clay right here. And then we'll do the same for the other side. See how we did that? I built up a little bit of an indentation there. And now, we're going to take, and I'll make a little hole here with the, the tool. Then we'll do the same for the other side. See that? Kind of widen that out a little bit, going back and forth like that. And then I'll do the same on this side. Take the tool, let it go back and forth a couple of times like that. See that? And I'll do this a little more over here.
it went good. Okay. I just want to keep that nice and flat. Ooh. We'll pick that up. So what I'm going to do is take a little piece of clay And I'm going to make this into a little ball. And I'm going to put it in here. See that? I put it back in. Do the same for the other side. See, it might be too, uh, a little too big, I think. Take a little bit of clay off it. Okay, now I'm gonna take that piece of clay and push it in there. And then what I wanna do, think of like a little banana or something. I'm gonna take a little piece of clay like this, roll it between my fingers like that, curve it up a little bit like a banana, and then take and put that underneath the eye. And then we'll take and do the same thing for the top part. Take a little piece of clay. See, I'm rolling it between my fingers. And think of another banana. See, we created that eye. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Think of the banana. I'm going to roll a little piece of clay. And what I'm going to do, these are, we're creating eyelids. So what I want to do is go underneath, underneath like that. And then we're going to go over with the other one. So I'm thinking of the banana, and it's going to create the top eyelid, like that. Pretty cool, huh? And then we want to create some ears. So I want to see how big I want to make these. Compare, well, I'm going to take a little bit of clay. Once I figure the right size of the ball, we're going to let me see. Okay, so what I want to do for the ears is take, I want to flatten it out a little bit, but I want to um, I'll show the shape that we want to make for the ear. See that? So you're going to kind of take and you're going to go around the edges like this and pinch it. So this is the shape that you're going to make. See how I'm going around with my thumb on my finger? See that shape? That's the shape that we're going to make. And then we're going to do the same for the other one. So you flatten out. See how I'm doing that? Flatten out my fingers. And then we can also use this to, let's see, that one's a little too big. Um, let me make sure we the right size. So I just kind of want to put a little indentation in there like that. Like that. I'm going to use this one to make it a little bigger. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to make a little indentation. A 
Make that nice little indentation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put the ear, just attach it right there. See that? And then what we'll do is we'll take and attach the ear on the other side. So I'm going to take this so you can see it and attach the ear like that. See that? And then I'll show you. We start to want we want to make the um, the fur. So what we can do is I'll show you. We're gonna take. Let's see if this is gonna be the right size. Just gonna take. Just gonna make little in little indentations. Let's see. I want to see if I got one there. That's. Yeah, let me see if this will. So I'm going to take and just kind of do little short strokes to make the fur like this. Go around the eye, do the same thing. See that? Go do that. We're going to do the, the top of the face or the head. And you're also going to do the fur here. You're going to do this all around the head like that. I'll show you a little bit over here. See that? And we're going to do that all around the head. Now, the thing with the, the horn, I'll show you how to make the texture for the horn. So I'm just going to make sure I shape that a little better. And then on this, what we can do is you kind of make these like wavy lines. See that? How we're going. And you're going to go all around, though. You're going to go like that. See that? You're going to do that all the way around. You're going to do that all the way down to the bottom, too. So, see, like here, you want to make those nice, nice wavy lines take the tool and just kind of to give it that nice texture. See that? We're going to do that all the way around like that. So that's how you will make the uh, bighorn sheep once you've completed that entire process, then you can fire it in the oven. And you know, like the, the Super Sculpey, you'd fire it at 275 for about 20 minutes, and then uh, it'd be ready for painting. But I'll show you the texture. Just think of this, this piece here without the paint on it. You can see how I did the, the nice eye, the nose. You can see the, the horns. The, uh, there's a lot of texture there. And uh, once you paint it, it looks a lot better, but next week I'll show you how to paint that. So I do want to thank you for coming to the show Creations of Clay, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.